What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Tap Tap Server Idle Heroes. I know, I've been like drip feeding this info, but this one right here I completely forgot to talk about in our other two videos. And this one is kind of huge for what they are offering up as a store as well. So, we're going to jump into this, we're going to look at the Star Diamond store, not the one where you're purchasing them, but ones that you can cash in every single month for resources, because some of them, some of them are pretty good if you can get some of them free to play by selling off some of your heroes, you can then turn around and use those as a currency in game to help your account. So if you don't care about the quality of your heroes, you can simply trade them on the auction house, get a ton of star diamonds, and then cash them in for progress on your account. So let's jump right into it. Again, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about this, but it is huge. So let's go. Okay, so I swear, this is going to be the last video on this today. We are going to jump into the packages here. So as you guys see, there is the diamond purchase that you can do. 100 USD is going to get you, what, uh, 2,500 VIP experience gives you 5,000. Okay, so that's kind of the typical um, gem purchases for the same amount nowadays. You're talking about 2,500 versus... Uh, I mean, a lot more based on your VIP level at this point. But yeah, Star Diamond is 2,500. There is the Star Gem Mall, which I completely, completely miss. Yes, I, I, I just, I somehow forgot about it. You can use, it looks like either one of the Star Diamonds, whether they're the bound or unbound ones, but there's a ton of really good packs in here. Number one being uh, 25, which is what? Equivalent to a dollar, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, that's the typical dollar pack, I think. Daily pack, four and five thousand, right? Four, five thousand, or five million. Yep, that's the exact same pack. Now, this is the first thing that comes into play here. The soul hammers. The soul hammers are a hammer that shakes the soul, which can be used to refine the awakening quality of a hero's attributes. So what I get out of the soul hammer is once you have this, you can then bump up those stats from like maybe a d minus to a d a d to a d plus kind of like that that's my guess we will of course as soon as i can make some purchases and get some stuff going here test these out on the tap tap servers i call them test servers they're not really test servers they're just the chinese servers but they get all the new functions first to test out before it goes global to android ios all that fun stuff this one could be huge you can get 20 of them per month so that's not too bad. That's what, 500 of it? So, I mean, that's like the equivalent of a basically like what? 25 bucks, something like that. I mean, it's not bad. That's not bad if you want to take it straight for that. You can go for gold, spirit, and dust like you can with the weekly package. So that kind of lines up pretty well there. You can go further on and get 10 of these of luxury cloud island chests. Open the chest and select one of the rewards. So it's not like a great chest. I mean, it's okay, but it's not really that amazing. Uh, you got just straight up gems for... That, that doesn't seem like a good deal. I'd probably stay away from the gems unless you just really don't care about upgrading your heroes. You could go in on that. You can get puppets and promotion stones. You can get uh, cores of transcendence, 15 of them, which I believe, yeah, that, that's pretty much the same value right there. Yeah, 1250, that's pretty much the same rate. So everything relates to how much they cost in the actual store. So you can't really game the system by like, oh, let's buy Star Diamonds and buy the stuff instead of buying the package. They're going to be the same thing. You can get 2500. Is that the same ratio here? Five times. Yes. Okay, that's good. You can get puppets, 10 and 9 star puppets for 1750. And then for like the full $100, you can get 5000. Don't get this one, guys. <laughs> Don't ever do that unless you just desperately need them. Or another good one here is the Void Rory Resource Selection Chest because this has star spawn cores in it. It has crystals of transcendence. It has stellar shards. And then on top of that, you're getting seven selection void eggs. So this does bring a pretty cool aspect to this event into it. I'm pretty sure that covers everything now. I don't think I've seen anything else change here during this event. I think everything, that's the same. Those are all the same. 
Transcendence packages are the same. Gem purchases are the same. You do get extra gems based on your VIP level. But nowadays, I feel like most people will probably want to do the Star Diamond purchases over gem purchases. But it just depends on what they need it for. If they need a ton of gems or if they need other things like this. So, um, yeah, my first impressions is I like it. Is, is another good way for someone who, like me on my free-to-play account, I don't think I'm really going to care about the quality of my heroes until I'm much later in the game. Honestly, what I want to do is I want to soul awaken heroes, I think, and really hope to roll like an A or an S tier type ability, a stat. Um, which again, is a very, very low chance, but if you get like a trifecta, you'd be like rich forever. And then maybe take the time and invest in these star diamond packages here to help boost up your account more in the early game. Because like if you roll, especially like Shia copies, I think the most sought after copies will check the auction house right now. There's no recommended right now, right? Um, I imagine people aren't even going to really try to go for like if they don't care about their sword flash they're probably just going to go for the transcendence hero versions just to try to see if they can get like a good overall score and then maybe sell it for something big oh man there's an a minus right there that looks pretty sweet a minus here a like this right here this is a very good sword flash copy right here shia uh, i think that's what most people are gonna do i think they're gonna come into the soul temple and not pick their main heroes but they're gonna be like uh okay let me go to my here i want to uh, i want to do my shia copy and i'm gonna awaken the shia copy see how good it is and then potentially trade it off and get a ton of resources and then you can come on over here to the gem mall and kind of buy whatever you want to help progress your actual account. Again, it's a great way right here to get cores of transcendence, I think. This could be a very good way for free to play to get a ton more cores of transcendence. So you have to kind of put it into perspective. Number one, are you going to be able to keep up with the super whales that can just swipe that credit card and get like S tier of everything? No. But I mean, we already have. There's so many, so many things in game right now that are already like kind of keeping you apart, including now these flags. There's, you're never going to have multiple of each and every transcendence hero for your residences on Cloud Island. You're just not going to compete with the whales. Simple as that. So what I do think this does do is, yes, that does in keep that gap there. It doesn't help shorten the gap. But what it does do is it helps you enjoy, at least in my opinion, for my free-to-play accounts, it's going to help me enjoy it a little bit more because you can super high roll in the Soul Temple, sell something off, and then come in to the Starry Gem Mall and make some progress on your account. Now, maybe that's just me. You guys can definitely argue in the comments down below. Um... I can see both points. Yes, is is making the the spending gap. It's just staying the same or maybe increasing a little bit. But the fact that I could come in here and if I sold like a really good copy for like what is that twelve fifty times five, if I can sell something for like seven thousand, then what I can do is I can literally come in here buy all of these out in a month, which was crazy. That's crazy. That's what, 75 cores of transcendence for a free-to-play? Something like this can be absolutely huge for a free-to-play account. So, just remember, you don't always have to compare yourself to others. You can just find what is going to give you the most progress to have fun. And as I always say, if you're not whaling on games like this, just play to have fun. Set your own goals. Don't be like, I have to beat those whales have your fun in your lane that's what i try to do and that's where i have the most fun like i said i barely have fun on my super vip account anymore i have the most fun with stupid shenanigan accounts so let me know what you guys think i do think this mall right here and especially this one offer could be really really huge and i'll see you guys next time